well, I told you so. Congress has now introduced a resolution saying that anywhere in the continent of Africa where civilians are threatened, the U.S. military under AFRICOM is going to invade to protect them. Now let me explain something. Our government is totally run by six big mega banks. When they attacked Libya and killed 40,000 plus people, it was about seizing the resources. The attempt to put al-Qaeda in charge of Syria is not about getting rid of Assad, it's about power grabbing. All of this is about destabilization. And when you see Angelina Jolie running around saying, invade Libya, well, it happened. Attack Syria, it's happening. Go into Uganda, it's happening. Arrest Joseph Kony, some phantom menace that nobody's seen for at least five and a half years and who controlled a tiny area and had a couple hundred fighters. I told you last week that you would see resolutions in NATO and in the U.S. Congress, as well as the U.N., for a continent-wide invasion of Africa because that was the stated goal of the Pentagon four years ago. And guess what? It's all happened. They have introduced the resolutions that any time anybody civilian is threatened by anybody, the U.S. military is going to come in and police it. And they're setting up AFRICOM bases all over. Uganda is one of the big ones. Kenya, now up in Libya. That's why I say Angelina Jolie is a war criminal. It's this hoax that the U.N. loves you and the U.N. wants to take care of you. And she's this envoy pushing for humanitarian wars. War is not peace. Only in 1984 is war peace, okay? But because they have this cover that they're the humanitarians and do photo ops handing out food to children, it is the official U.S. government policy under State Department Memorandum 200 by Henry Kissinger to destroy Africa and to cause wars and famine through proxy wars. And that's what's happening in Uganda. I've done videos. I've shown you the articles. They're in Paul Watson's article that I'm about to show you at Infowars.com where it's about exterminating the population. But it's all done in peace. They come in peace. Here it is. Lawmakers push for U.S. invasion of Africa following Kony 2012 fraud resolution introduced to send more U.S. troops to protect civilians. And it goes on. The resolution introduced by Representatives Jim McGovern and Ed Royce called for, among other things, expanding the number of regional forces in Africa to protect civilians. Africa, Africa wide. Not a guy who hadn't been seen in years on 200 square miles and placing restrictions on individuals or governments found to be supporting Coney. That means shut down all the little countries selling their own gold and diamonds. They call those blood gold, blood diamonds that didn't go into the big cartels. Okay, this is about controlling Africa through a new colonialism and an invasion. I mean, the Coney videos were so ridiculous. People jumping around like it was Mr. Rogers going, Hi, have a screening in your area. You're trendy. It's non-threatening. We're going to get Coney. Problem. Then the reaction, do something about it. Angelina Jolie, invade Africa, arrest Coney. The solution is now the invasion. Problem, reaction, solution. Order out of chaos. I mean, my God, Libya, whether you like the, the last leader or not, has been destroyed. The same thing's happening all over. Iraq has been wrecked. That's the stratagem. Wreck the country so you can consolidate them. They've had IMF and World Bank documents come out. So again, I'm proven correct. This isn't about going after Coney. They picked a guy who can never be found, probably dead, just like bin Laden, to be the boogeyman to invade all these countries. Now they're saying all over Africa, any time the, the U.S. Uh, controlled interest, the big banks that control us, NATO interest, globalist interest, the bureaus, Oppenheimer, diamond interest, any time now they want to openly invade, they're going to do it with these type of resolutions. Just like the UN last year invaded the Ivory Coast and killed tens of thousands on record to depose their leader because they were daring to mine their own minerals and sell them on the market. The globalists want a monopoly. And if you want to be a dictator of a country and do what they say, they'll prop you up and help you commit genocide. But if you're a good nation in some cases and you want to build your country up, you're dead. And mercenaries and NATO and U.S. invasion forces are on the way. Here it is. CBS News reports. Six, seven days after that Coney 2012 garbage was put out, here it is. And so I'm so angry. I am so tired of it. I'm so tired of them going, look, a boogeyman. He's worse than Hitler. That's what the Coney people say. Get in there and get Hitler. And now, ooh, African-wide invasion. 
Do you have any idea? Go read the articles Paul Watson wrote with links to the New York Times admitting UN-sanctioned mercenaries are allowed to kill Africans to get them off their land so they can be made into a nature preserve or a carbon sink for carbon taxes. And guess where the main epicenter is? The Congo and then Uganda. Go look it up. Oh, but you're not worried about the millions being killed in the 26-year reign of their dictator. No, you're not worried about that. It's all about Angelina Jolie and all of these globalists that are out there selling pure evil in the name of peace. All right, I'm done ranting about this, but this is happening quicker than I thought it would. That thing was pure war agitation, pre-war propaganda, just like Saddam throwing babies out of incubators and Gaddafi had guys fueled by a bag or raping people or this new guy in Syria who got caught on a feed going, prepare to stage the fake gunfire. Oh, we're live, yes. And then he got asked about it, and he's like, well, uh, let's not discuss that. I mean, it's fake. It's fake. It's all provocations. And the very same globalist interests that are raping Africa and Latin America and Asia and Central and Eastern Europe, they're raping us. They're setting up a global corporate government with disgusting New World Order pimps and, and, and sellouts like Angelina Jolie and others out there who know full well what they're doing. And I'm calling them out. You got to get angry about this. It's global war under the name of peace, where they stir up rebels and then go attack those rebels and take over, or fund rebels to attack the government and then come in and take over in the name of humanitarian. And it has nothing to do with it. So there it is, Joseph Coney resolution introduced in house. I told you so. Now get this video out to everybody.